Here's how to set up your audio device in Reason First. Click on Edit. Select Preferences. Now in the Preferences dialog box that shows up, click on the pull-down menu marked Page. Select Audio. Now under Audio Card Driver, click the pull-down menu. Here you're going to see drivers for all of the audio cards that are connected to your computer. You want to select the audio card driver that most closely matches the audio card that you have connected to or inside of your computer. You can also change the sample rate by clicking on the pull-down menu. Changing the sample rate will change the output quality of your audio, so you do want to find a setting that most closely matches your audio card and gives you the best audio output. 44.1 kHz is typically going to be a perfect sample rate for regular audio usage in Reason 5. You can change the buffer size, however in some cases you won't be able to change the buffer size in Reason and you'll have to change the buffer size in the control panel for your audio card. As you make changes to these settings, you'll see the input and output latency change. This is going to give you an idea of how much latency you can encounter when you change your audio card settings. Experiment with different settings to find the least amount of latency with the best audio quality that you can achieve with your audio card. Now you can set the active input and output channels in Reason. Click on the Channels button. This will open up the Active Channels dialog box. Here you can activate or deactivate various inputs and outputs for your audio card. Depending on how many inputs and outputs your audio card has, you'll want to enable enough in order to handle Reason's output and input, and you also may want to enable more in order to have different audio mixes. This all depends on your audio card, so check the documentation for your audio card before you make these settings. When you've made any of these settings to your input and output, click on OK and the settings will be saved. You can also open the control panel for your audio card by clicking on the control panel button. If your audio card has an external software mixer and or control panel, this will open the control panel for that audio card from Reason and allow you to make changes to it. When you're all done, close up the preferences box and now Reason is configured for audio input and output with your audio card. Hey, hey.